another very yucky day in New York. It's raining a lot. It's been raining all morning. And we gotta go swimming. Everybody? My little turtle over here. You cool? Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go out. We have he has swimming on the weekends usually, so I'm taking him swimming. And then we're gonna come back and cook something nice in mom's kitchen, right? Yeah. What do you wanna eat? Alfredo. You want Alfredo pasta? Yeah. Alright, so we'll do some of that and I am going to make some boil and fry provision with some curry snack on. So stay with us guys, join us. And we're gonna start our little adventure here in the rain to the pool. Alright buddy? sweet potato, some yellow ripe plantain, and I need some flour here to make some dumpling. Or as our Guyanese friends would say, duff. I'm making the bigger dumpling, not like the flat ones that we make in Trinidad. I will boil it and then I'm going to fry back the, the provision here with onions, tomatoes, pimentos, and a little piece of bolognese butter. And thanks to our friend Robin, he brought us this beautiful sea trout from Guyana. He was there for the cricket and he came back just a week ago and surprised us with this beautiful fish. So thank you very much Robin. I'm going to make some curry fish. I have my nice green mango here and I hope you come for some of this. I'll keep some for you. sweet potatoes, edos, cassava. I'm going to add some salt here and when this is almost finished, which is probably like 20 minutes or so, I'm going to add in the yellow plantains. I don't want to add it in right now because all of the root vegetables are very hard so I don't want the yellow plantain to get too soft perfect to cook um, at the time I'm going to add it in and I'll also do the dumplings or the duff. I'll roll it out and put it in and let it boil and then I'll fry back everything here with onions, peppers, sides, pimentos and we'll start with the curry fish shortly. The water is hot, let's go in now with the root vegetables so it's boiling. Again, this is sweet potatoes, edos, cassava. I'm gonna add some salt here. And when this is almost finished, which is probably like 20 minutes or so, I'm going to add in the yellow plantains. I don't wanna add it in right now because all of the root vegetables are very hard. So I don't want the yellow plantain to get too soft perfect to cook um, at the time I'm going to add it in and I'll also do the dumplings or the duff. I'll roll it out and put it in and let it boil and then I'll fry back everything here with onions, peppers, sides, pimentos. Okay so after about 20 minutes I'm adding in the yellow plantains and that's going to start to boil and now I'm going to add in also our dumplings or duck. So let's go in. And these are, make them a bit bigger than the regular dumpling. And 
I need um, the flour with a little baking powder so it'll um, poof up and when the provision is ready to be strained, the drain out in the calendar, I'm going to take out the dumplings and I'll fry them first. When I say fry them, so let them cook a little in um, some oil so that the exterior of it gets nice and crispy. And then I'll incorporate everything with onions, pepper, pimento, garlic, and a little bit of salted butter. And saute everything together and we'll have this with the fish. So let's continue rolling out some more. I did two so far. And again, rough roll it. This is like, you know, home cooking and we're very rustic, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, this is the size that it gets. Again, there is baking powder as a rising agent in the flour, so it will swell up, it will raise. Maybe one more. And then I'll cover it and let it boil for about 10 more minutes and I'm going to strain this out. Okay, and here goes another one. I have the heat down medium, I'm going to raise it back. And all of the other root vegetables, the cassava and the sweet potato and everything, is boiled really well. So, all right, I'm gonna continue rolling out the rest of the dumplings, and then I am going to boil and fry, and I'll show you how it looks. All right, let's check on the boil and fry provision under the, the duff. This is how it should look, and again. When we make dumplings in Trinidad, it's not as big as these, right? And we don't put baking powder. Because of the baking powder and being a rising agent, of course, see, the Guyanese folks call it duff. So we have quite a few of them. I'm going to strain this now, strain out the provision, as well as the dumplings here, the duff, and I'm gonna fry these first. When I say fry, lightly in a little oil, just for it to get a little crusty on the outer, coating of the dumplings and the inside will be nice and soft and here's our seasoned fish I'm going to curry this I have my green mango and some pepper I do not fry fish first when I usually curry it and I let it cook on low heat and not too much of water because fish is something that cooks relatively quickly you don't want it to like um, I don't turn it up also too much because it's gonna mash you know mash up in the pot while it's cooking all right, so let me strain out the provision. I'm gonna fry back the dumplings and then I'll incorporate everything together with my onions and peppers and stuff again and do the boil and fry provision. So these are my fried dumplings, which I said is the first stage that I usually do. And here I have the strained boil and fried plantains, sweet potato, edos, and cassava. Everything boiled really beautifully. That's what I'm looking for. It's hot as you can see. The steam is still coming off. So this is just a little coating of oil at the bottom of the pot. I'm going to take these dumplings out now. And you see that beautiful little crust like here? That's what I'm looking for. So the inside is very soft. As you can see, if I press down on the dumpling, it's pillowy soft inside. Just gets this nice char on the outside so like when you put the gravy over the dumpling it works very well it soaks up very well so I'm gonna take these out and I'm gonna saute I have all of my condiments to the back of me I'm gonna saute it and then add in the other root vegetables to cook and I'll add in back dumplings with that and incorporate everything and the last touch will be a little piece of golden ray butter so guys, look who just came home, and of course, you know, he always likes to make us very happy. Bonsoir. It's getting cold now in New York, and um, as the weather gets chill, it seems like Chef Anna woke up some Italiano style today. So everyone see I'm making boiler and fry provision, right? And um, with curry fish, curry sea trout. But my kids, the kids always want something different. So I made them shrimp Spiral. alfredo. This five and bacon. Take it in and let them see, because I didn't really showcase what I made. So this is shrimp alfredo, guys, for the kids. Mm -hmm. And Ricky is the first big kid that's right. gonna be trying them out, trying it out first. Mm -hmm. How's it? Is good. Yeah, I love this. Yes, 
they will. They requested this. Mm. Aiden actually, I was taking them swimming as you guys saw earlier and um, I guess he felt like having Alfredo pasta. So he likes plain Alfredo pasta without anything. Usually I make it like with um, chicken cutlets for them, but I, I threw in some shrimp. So. And he tried to love this. Creaming but you can not spoil the appetite, you know, you know you're a curry man, you know, he, yeah, I'm know. doing curry fish next day, so. I came on here to dig into this fish and, and all the vegetables and nothing is going to shed all over on it. Well, let me tell you, your wife is multitasking, as everyone saw, I had a big fish to cut up and wash and season, so I don't know if you think that, um, no, I know. I, I, I know you threw it in. I know you do that. Alright, so cheers meanwhile. You have me holding my glass of wine. Cheers. Cheers, Alright. Cheers and cheers properly. And... Cheers, guys. And then note, we want to send some birthday shout-outs. A very happy birthday going out to my boy, Richard. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Richard. Mr. Richard Xiong. Xiong. All the best to you, sir. Many more happy and healthy years. And um, just want to put I'm on. I'm finally hiding with too much. Come this way. Oh, my people don't see my sitting down. I'm too much all the time. Okay. Well, oh, sorry. Um, Rich, just in case if you need to know, we are up and ready to adopt Nori. If you oh, will. God. <laughs> we love his daughter. She's such a cutie pie. Another cut, you guys, again. Sorry, we're having some wine. Joe, Wilma, and. Vilma oh, and is Diane, it's very good. Thank you for the bottle of wine. Our neighbors from across the street. I'll almost come over more often that way. And I'll bring some, bring these things with you. Should I go to see? I christen it now, eh? I open it. Well, he actually bring it to me. So yeah, it's actually her thing. She doesn't Smart. do it right. White wine, right. yes. And um, a birthday shout out going to my grandmother, Dami Diana. Happy birthday, Grandma. Wishing you many more happy and healthy years ahead. Thank you for all that you have done for this entire family, the Muhammad, the Kayum, the Rahmans, you have been an angel, a strong pillar in our lives, and um, kudos to you, Rahman. And next, we want to give a shout out to the man Zucchini. Uncle Baba, Uncle Baba. Happy birthday to you, sir. Zucchini. Uncle Baba from the Bronx. Happy belated birthday. So he celebrated his birthday. It was last week. What day? Wednesday. I don't yeah. know. Belated birthday to you, sir. Happy belated birthday. And yes. Wishing you many more. I know as you get old, you're going to be as miserable as all people that get miserable so take it easy that? on my auntie oh my now you don't like to she, pull it she likes she she like to pull it she like, yeah, she like hi auntie emily <laughs> and i would like to wish well we i should say would like to wish victor mr victor singh and his son liam singh they're both celebrating their birthday they both actually celebrated their birthday on the 7th yeah. which was last saturday happy birthday guys so liam turned two and I can't disclose Victor's age. I really don't know how old he is. He's on pension, so that, that oh pretty much God, stops it. Oh God, stop. Nah, Victor's your boy, man. Um, I saw some pictures on Facebook of this guy. He's like a stud <laughs> muff. Who are you talking about? Liam or Victor? Oh no, Liam definitely is a stud. But Pops, Pops had on his cowboy hat. He was like a mixture of Rocky Bell Boy and Okay, Pinty baby. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, guys. <laughs> and I would also like to say a special hello to, as I said, Bibi. To Bibi also, Victor's wife, and I have a fan who I met, so she'll see this greeting now. Her name is Bibi also. Hi Bibi, I met you in Apna Bazaar last week. She came down to the back and met me and she was so elated and happy to see me. And we, we embraced each other and we took a picture. I'm going to put up your picture. So thank you so much thank for being you, a loyal and faithful, uh, faithful fan and coming to the back and looking for me with your husband. Thank you very much. I was blushing up on things. Got a lot of babies here. My mom is baby. Yeah. Got two aunts who are baby. Glad to have these around. Wishing you all the best on your birthday, special days, and many more. So this month also guys, you know, it's just a, a couple months now, I, we officially started our YouTube thing. So October month is a very busy month in my home. So 
The boy Sven here, it's his birthday what coming up. 42, right? On the 29th, Ricky's birthday is on the 29th of October. Then we have our twins the, on the 19th, Alan and Alan will be celebrating their birthday also on the 19th. So I'm coming back with Aiden's birthday, our baby, his birthday is on the 23rd, as well as our anniversary. A lot of birthdays, birthdays. How many years married and I didn't kill you, is it? He said that because he can't remember how many years guys. He cannot remember how many years. Not for Okay, so headache. It's our um anniversary. I'm feeding this man, and he's saying I'm headache. I heard that. Our one anniversary. One. I have my friend's pedal, my best friend's pedal. Her birthday is on the 14th. Also, my niece Alana. Her birthday also is on the 15th. So there's a lot, a lot of good things in the month of October to say the least. You sound like my boy Alvin. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I actually got that headache thing from Mr. CEO Pointer. I saw his clip today. Congrats to you guys on Congratulations YouTube. guys on starting your new channel, yes. He was pulling pine, pine slice leg and telling she's headache. What are these wives doing? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Well, wait. You better sleep with one Fast of the eyes. Fast time for Movita like this. I'm feeding this man again and he's telling yeah. me I'm a headache. No, take, no, take. Take him go. <laughs> so guys, check out uh, CEO Pointer with a slice of pine tar. Yes, yeah, slice of pine. Pine Park. Mm. Yeah. So check out the guys on YouTube also. And this is Danny from the ARD, Mr. ARD. Um, it's our life. That's his nephew. Yeah. So please check out their contents and stuff. They just started up, so they need all the support also. He has been playing a tremendous role in Team ARD. Yes, in Team ARD. He does his part. And like, like Danny does with everyone, he encourages us to do what we're doing here. And I'm sure Chris and his lovely wife is going to bring some awesome content out there. See you guys soon in Orlando. Uh, We're going to see you guys soon for the next big event coming up. Yeah. Okay guys, so while Mr. Ricky is having some of the pasta, I'm going to start with the cutter fish. I'm going to plate up some pasta for the kids also because they're hungry. So again, thank you for joining me in the kitchen again. Cheers. You done? What's going on there? Pasta is going on here. Yeah, what kind of pasta are you having there? What did you want? I wanted Alfredo pasta. With? Um, with shrimp. I like how you put it by your mouth and then pull it back. <laughs> right. Go ahead, taste it. Let me hear. Then you're going to have some curry fish and boil and fry for vision. Mm -hmm. Well, you ain't doing well. Mm -hmm. How is it? It's good. Mm -hmm. Get a thumbs up like Uncle Rocky. It's busting. All right, enjoy, okay? Thank you. And this is our boil and fry provision here. I'm gonna do the curry fish now. We already had someone sampling from it. Do wipe your mouth and all the church what you wipe it on his mouth. <clears throat> this man have a bad habit as long as he gets so much anything in the pot. You know, back home in here, this boil and fry, I would believe maybe they would concur with what I'm saying. The proper fish is for that catfish. Well, this is back in Guyana. You're in New York right now. Hello. And you have a Trinidadian wife cooking the fish for you, okay? And again, now we're going to start with the curry fish. This is trout we're going to cook. I do not fry fish when I curry it. I like to just curry it in curry powder. I do not turn it up. I give it one good turn and I add the water and it cooks. I do not fry fish when I'm currying it. So this is going to curry now. So I'm going to wait more long. You have some pasta. You just teeth two or the... The dumpling or the duff as the Guyanese people would say I said that before. And now you're waiting again not to wait longer for the Are curry you fish. Exposing my business with the duff. What happened to you? Because you we you know he's all gangster. Yeah, in the I, kitchen. I have a bad habit. We know I just said that. Yeah. Alright guys, so stay with us, okay? Alright, how are you cooking on me here? I'm the fish. And when I add in this fish, I'm going to give it one good turn in the curry powder. And that's it. I'm not going to turn it back. I'll add water, add in my green mangoes and the peppers and my side here. And let it cook. And it will take just about 15 to 20 minutes to cook it, if even. And then I'll fill it up and show you guys with the boil and fry for the time. Alright, take a look at that. This is what I'm looking for here. 
I added the fish. I gave it uh, one turn here, a good turn. I'm not gonna touch this back now. This is letting out its own juice. I am going to add in now the green mango. I use half of a green mango and I have some cherry peppers I'm also gonna add in. Last, I'll add in my chopped up side just for garnish. I'm gonna add in some water in a little while. <clears throat> and this is just enough water to cook the fish because the fish is very fleshy. That's just going now with the water. This is the seasoning water from what I have the fish sitting in before the bowl. Can't let that waste, you know. So again. I'm not gonna turn this fish. Just gonna let the mango sit in. I'm gonna cover and this is gonna finish cook now with this water. I could always taste the salt and see if I need to add a little more salt. And I'll add in the side just for garnish. And then I'll plate up this with the boil and fried provision. So guys, look at how beautiful our boil and fry. Go ahead, you can go into it. I'm just showing our boil and fry provision and curry fish. I'm just more so proud of it when you get these fresh fish from home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So potato. So Danny caught this truck. Danny, Danny bought this fish and Robin brought it to us from um, Guyana. Thank you very much to both of you guys. Very, very much. It was a pleasure cooking here. Robin, again, I have some for you. You gotta come pick it up. Six and the nine bowls. Plus tax. Morning. It's good, right? It's delicious. All right. So I want. So again, guys, you also I made the Guyanese dumpling duff. So we make the flat dumpling in Trinidad, um, which we call cow tongue. My Trinidadian fellow, you know, citizens would know what, what I'm talking about. So the, the duff, sorry, let me yeah, put it yeah. So this is, look, this is, a, see how nice and soft? Let me show you guys. Do you have the cow tongue in the nothing in this, right? This is like caviar. Actually, did you get any soap to yeah. It's nice and soft inside, guys. And you guys saw I boil it and then I fried it back a little bit in a little bit of oil. It's very, very soft. I'm the window, cool air is coming in. It's very soft and delicious. So guys, thank you once again for joining my lovely wife in the kitchen. She threw it on again today. What is this? Fish curry or curry fish? Curry fish curry. I'm sure you cook it here. And dough. And dough. It's dough, yes. I made dough. But you know this kind of fish here, how good it tasted? This one are rice over here. Well, and the yellow rice and stuff again, guys. Yeah. So, you know how we came to this thing here, right? I, I'm remembering when we first started a Danny Z already show, uh -huh. and we my Rocky, and Rocky had a plate of sedges and Danny next up. I want to taste and come back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's when you guys went for lunch, when you guys yeah. first went to meet them there. So again, as Ricky was just saying to everyone, all of our fans, our supporters, our viewers, we could not have been doing this without your support and without you guys. So thank you from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you for all joining us weekly in our home, in our humble abode here. And we really appreciate you guys again. Right, we'll catch you guys. I'm sorry, I just want to say a big thank you to all the folks who come by the store and say hi to us, who watches our show or brother's show. 
and Rocky show, you know, without your guys' support, we wouldn't have been doing this. Right. But thanks for all the love. And again, um, always, always a big thank you to Sherry and Rocky for always being there for us. And um, I'll see you guys soon. What's up? We'll catch you guys in the next one.